How's it going guys, it's Pipsqueak back again with a brand new video. Now I'm recording this video on the last day of the Broken Fang operation and it has been one long operation hasn't it? I mean we started the operation on the 3rd of December 2020 and it's now halfway through 2021 so definitely been a long operation. I completed the uh, operation pass and got the diamond coin on my main account on 17th of March and pretty much did nothing to do with the operation since then until I checked the price of the Broken Fang cases about a week ago. Now, at time of recording, the broken fan cases are 66 pence in Great British Pounds. I will be converting that to other currencies for you guys. But I realised if we got 100 stars from the operation, or 101 counting the extra from week 1, I could get 50 cases for the cost of the broken fan pass of £10.89. Now, if we multiply 50 cases by 0.66, of course depending on your currency, I'd have £33 worth of cases for a total profit of £22.11, and probably more after the cases go out of circulation. So in this video I will go through exactly how much money I made on the operation and also give you guys some advice for the next operation. Bit of a longer intro but if you guys are enjoying the video don't forget to leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below whether or not you have invested into this operation. I feel like I've said operation about a hundred times so I will stop now. Also guys 97% of you watch my videos but haven't hit that subscribe button yet so make sure you do not forget to hit it right under the video to stay up to date with all of my uploads. Without further ado let's get straight back into it. So here I am on my main account. Now when I first completed the battle pass, the way I would use my stars is I would open up one of the control collection, which costs four stars, and I would also get one case for two stars for the weekly allowance total of six stars. So over the 16 weeks in total, I received 16 cases and 16 control collection items. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I got all greys in my drops except for this blue Magna Carta. So out of the 16 items, I got 15 greys and one blue. We'll say on average the 15 greys were about 10p each for a total of £1.50 and the stone mosaico is currently worth £3.24 so in total I received £4.74 in skins from the operation. In terms of cases, as I said they are currently worth 0.66 pence and I have 16 cases so 16 multiplied by 0.66 is £10.56. So £10.56 plus the skins leaves me with a total revenue of £15.30 from the operation. Now I bought the pass before the drop in price from £11.79 to £10.89 so the £15.30 take away £11.79 leaves me with £3.51 profit at time of recording. Overall I don't think that's too bad really, I mean at least I was in profit and that's where I thought I would sort of stay anyway. However, when I realised the profit potential to be made from these broken fan cases and having checked the market for the volume of cases being listed up and opened, I really believe that these cases are underinvested. This is a case with a print stream and a neo noir. Two skins loved by the community, and also a few other well-used skins like the exoskeleton and cyber security. Plus, with over 14 million cases being opened already, I really think demand could start to outweigh supply and push the price of these cases up. For me, this was a no-brainer, I could grind the operation on my second monitor while I'm doing some work, buy the pass, get the 100 stars and cash in on the cases. Now to show you guys what I did, I'm on one of my alts here. And uh, basically all I did was I just scrolled through the uh, operation challenges week by week and I would pick the two easiest missions, usually the three star missions, and I just did them as quickly as I could and moved on to the next one. And uh, as soon as I was finished, I just went to the shop, cashed them all in. And as you can see, I have all my cases here and I think there is, yep, there is a sticker as well just lying around because there was one star left and I just thought let's use it on a sticker. Uh, I do mention the sticker because on one of my accounts I actually got really lucky and managed to get a really good holo, the Battle Scarred holo, which is currently worth £5, so that was a really nice surprise and a big boost to the overall profit. One other thing I should mention is that on all of my accounts I opened one of the control collection trying to get that orb fade, and on every single account I only got a grey, which meant I missed out on two cases worth of money. So to use this account as an example, I have 48 cases. One grey skin, we'll call it say 10 pence, and a sticker which I will count individually at the end. 48 times the case value of 0.66 is £31.68, add the 0.1 for the uh, skin, of course forget the sticker for now, and we get a total of £31.78. This minus the £10.89 I spent on the pass leaves us with a big profit of £20.79. A big profit on my initial investment which could of course rise as the case goes out of circulation. So now I've shown you one account, let's do the full roundup. I'll be working in Great British Pounds, but we'll convert to all major currencies as we go, so just keep your eyes on the screen if you want to see Euros or Dollars. Another note to add is that I will be disregarding all drops received in the course of completing the Broken Fang Pass. These drops included a few fracture cases and a few small skins, so bear that in mind for a few extra pounds here and there while you complete the operation. You probably will be getting some drops. 
In total, I completed the Broken Fang Pest on three accounts, receiving 48 cases from each, for a total of 144 cases. Now with each case being 0.66 pence at the time of the recording, total case revenue from those accounts is a massive £95.04. Now adding that Battle Scarred Hollow at £5, the Cold Strike Hollow at 32 pence, and Paper Cold Strike sticker at 10 pence, and not forgetting the three grey skins for 0.3, this takes us to a total revenue of £100.76 across the three accounts. For all three passes, I paid £10.89 each for a total cost of £32.67. So, for the total profit I made on the operation from those three accounts, we can take the £100.76 and take away £32.67 for a grand total profit of £68.09. When we add this to the measly £3.51 profit from my main account, we get an overall profit of £71.60. What a return that is for just playing the game! But, to look at only the profit misses a big part of it. I had to sit here and grind the game in order to earn those stars. To estimate how long it took me to complete the operation per pass, I'll use Propanator's estimate of just under 10 hours per pass, so 10 hours times 4 accounts, let's estimate it took 40 hours overall to complete the pass on all 4 accounts. So to work out how much I made per hour, we take our total revenue from all accounts, so £100.76 from the 3 alts, and add the £15.30 from my main account, for a total of £116.06 made from everything over the course of the whole operation. Now we take this value and divide it by 40, the 40 hours we spent getting the items, leaving us with an hourly rate of just under £3 an hour. Not bad, is it? Now onto the big question of the video. Do I think it's worth the grind? Well, for me, I would say if you have the time, yeah, why not? I think if you're someone who's maybe at school and got a bit of pocket money burning a hole in your pocket, why not spend the time to get through a few uh, battle passes on your main and alt accounts? And even if you're someone with a part-time job or a full-time job, you'll probably have enough time to get through at least one or two accounts. However, I would bear in mind it can be a real pain to actually get your money off of your account again, so keep that in mind if you do decide to invest. Overall, I would say it's a very decent method of making a bit of profit, as I've essentially gone from £30 to a knife in a few hours. I'm actually really interested to hear what you guys think about this video, so let me know in the comments section down below if you agree with me or not, or if you think I've just wasted my time grinding these challenges. Thank you guys so much for watching, this video definitely took a lot more effort to make than my usual videos, so it really means a lot to me that you would stick it through all the way through to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, and make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the Under 1K sub club. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.